Tá lagado minha. É que ele caminha. Ah, isso aí mesmo. Não, mas era muito ruim, mano. Vai se fuder. Ele nem viu o cara chegar. Quando ele ia na bola, o cara já tava cabeceando, o cara já tinha dominado a bola. <risos> Eu ficava olhando pra ele, quando vinha jogada, eu não ficava olhando pra bola, eu ficava olhando pra ele, pra já, pra já começar a rir, tá ligado? Eu já começava a rir antes, tá ligado? Eu já sabia que o cara ia chegar antes dele. Eu não, cara, mas que se foda o Flamengo, todos os carinhos. Não, pior ainda, né? Com 20 anos, carioca, pô. Se eu acordasse. Pô, vocês nem viram, vai acordasse. ter uma caixa de equipamento aqui, ó. Em São Paulo, tivesse um buraco, não ia fazer falta nenhuma pra mim também. Um buraco pro lugar de São Paulo, pra mim não ia fazer diferença nenhuma. Onde está o equipamento do negócio? Em tudo. Cara, tem um som do jogo tá travando. Porra! Eu acho que a maior porcentagem lá é essa. Tá bom, querido, o som tá bugado pra você, Bizarro, que você ainda não comprou o Dolby Atmos. Ah, é? Ô, João, é. Ô, João, é brincadeira, tá? É brinco? O meu sonho não, 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 é. O time eu quero que você. O time eu quero que você foda, né? Dolby, Dolby Atmos, velho. Cara, eu vou comprar o Dolby Atlas, cara, calma. Agora que minha promoção tem 13 dias. Você pegou o poder novo, Gita? A nova skill? Mas tem que voltar nele pra ele ser eleito pra vocês pagar o estádio. Não precisa pagar o estádio. <risos> e ficar girando. Vou comprar o viado, tá com a gente aqui. Ele tá querendo de vocês, zerar a dívida na hora. Eu consigo usar o Ah, ele pega o pra pagar isso aí. É, pagar inimigo pra finalizar. Mas eu tenho essa daqui, ó. Ele pegou agora pra mim. Deve estar lá, 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 Deve Não sei nem quem é. Just checking in. Não, não sure Uma caixa de equipamento aqui, ó. Então é, eu não posso falar. Ai, censura. Uma caixa de equipamento aqui, gente. Eu tenho que ver esses conceitos. Eu não vejo eles de fora. O piloto tomate pra ver. Varra malote. Troca de estilo aí, você. Você também precisa ver esses piloto. Que estilo, mano. Vai tá maluco. Ixi, Vou jogar de alma, meu Deus. Chegou um o melhor. Brasil, Jamaica. Bônus de poder de fogo. Bônus de dano maluco. Habilidades. Vou lá de inventário. Aperta RB. Meu Deus. Meu Deus. Pô, tem que ter de rifle de bala, Como é que é país? Hum, coloca a música não, ô... Ô, não... Pode dar problema, tá aí, ó. There's no joke. It's just great. It's a Turian, and he's being torn apart for what they did. I felt nothing before. But now I get it. It was a good fight. The enemy was destroyed to punish them all and send a message. I get it. I hate Turians. Que é isso? Enfiar a voz, velho? Eu não sei se eles estão aqui mais. Whatever. Não tem que ser amigos para lutar com bons inimigos. O cara mora em São Paulo, né? Todo paulista é mal educado pra caralho, vai saber. 
Ele não é paulista não, pô. Mora onde teu irmão? Ele é de Caruaru, Caruaru pô. Tá explicado? Tá explicado. Tá explicado. Mas, ô, pô, diz aí, quem é o primeiro do GTA 7, diz aí? O GTA 7 é nosso, velho. O GTA 7 é nosso. Eu tenho pensamentos, como pequenos bugs, mas eu não posso parar eles. Eu não posso parar eles. Eu estou aqui em cima, mas eu não posso parar eles. Você sabe como a história vai ser? Eu não, eu não posso parar eles. Eu vou ouvir tudo o que você tem a dizer, Jack. Eu não posso parar eles. Eu estou subindo o meu estado, né? Agora eu não tenho que estar babando o ovo para a Paulista para ter passado o jogo na televisão. Eles fizeram experimentos, drogaram-me, torturaram-me. Whatever chance I had to be normal, they stole it by trying to turn me into some sort of biotic. The other kids, every one of them hated me. What did they hope to gain by torturing a little girl? It was something about pain breaking down mental barriers and how it might clear the way for a more biotic power. I'm sure there was a payoff due at some point, but I wasn't going to see it. I was wired up in a cell. They tortured you just to see if they could make a strong biotic? That's it? Wasn't it a decision to ask, Shepard? Oh, but there's a question here. All I know is... It's a little bit of a pain. It's a little bit of a pain. Begging for the pain to stop. You love the power they gave you. They never gave me a choice. I want to get out of this equipment. I'm going to get out of there. How did you get out of there? There was some kind of emergency and I made a break for it. The other kids came out of their cells and attacked me. I just killed everything in my way and ran. I guess my biotics had developed faster than they thought. I managed to get a shuttle off the ground, drifted into a hospital, and me up. Was about to be buried. My uplifting escape story. Don't be There were other children in the base. I didn't know much about them. I was kept safe. Oh, exactly. They hated me just like everyone else there. When I broke out, I had to fight through them all. I showed them. But there's a loose end I need to deal with. Is that what I said? You're absolutely certain that Cerberus was running the facility. I was a kid, but I wasn't done. I knew how to listen. It was Cerberus. Don't care how far down the chain it was. They thought the I'm gonna talk to the elusive man. He better have some answers. He'll just deny everything. That's not what I'm Pelé. after anyway. I found the coordinates in your files. I want to go to the Telton Pelé. facility on Pravia where they tortured and drugged me. I want to go to the center of the place myself. I want to deploy a big fucking bomb and I want to watch from orbit when it goes. Attacking our allies is going to derail our mission. Not a smart move. The files say it was shut down by my escape. It's been a for years. They going to care if I blow up a garbage dump? You've lived with this your whole life. Why do this now? Like I said, I found the coordinates in your files. You can't expect me to just sit on information like that. I'll start the course with Radia. I'll start the course with Radia. I'll start the course with Radia. I hear that Rupert is actually cooking some good meals lately. Yeah, right. That's gonna serve a good target if it's like that. Lua de cristal, que me faz sonhar. Que foi? Não tá. Ele tá com a lata e com o áudio. Passa a trote. Não, quando eu entro no tá, tá live que eu não tô bem, eu não. Eu não volto o áudio. Eu tenho que estar tá concentrado, né? Tá quando eu tô na live contigo ali, porque senão sempre sai alguma coisa ou outra que eu não posso falar. A doença, o, o doente. Ó, reabastecer mais uma caixa de, de equipamentos. There you are. Tem um tênis ali, véio. parece um off-star, sei lá. <risos> Olha, foi pro nível 10. Aí eu botei. Ô, Titã. Eu fui mandar uma mensagem do meu antigo perfil do Twitter e ele foi. Primeiro vai ter que ser revisado 24 horas pra depois ser mandado. 
Eu não faço ideia. Os caras falaram que eu tô aqui. Seu, seu Twitter vai ser entrar em avaliação 24 horas. Não tem nada de conteúdo pá. Eu só mandei é, a Albi Back Beats. Eu só vou botar. Aí finalmente eu consegui um elmo. Um elmo aqui que vai mostrar o rosto da minha é, personagem. Eu botei beats de vadia, botei beats de praia. Weren't you originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. B A C H. I had joined Cerberus ID abducted by the collectors right now. C H got the gun. It really dodged a bullet. Yeah, I couldn't take that. They creeped the hell out of me. É porque eu mandei todos os tweets do mundo tomar no cu ao mesmo tempo. Shepard, need me for something? Yeah, Shepard, for something? Have you got a minute? Vai, agora você pode ver o rosto da minha personagem. Agora vai. Talk to you later, Harris. Eu vou estar aqui se você precisar. Eu não consigo nem concluir uma missão. Eu sou uma dunga e de uma dunga. Eu sou uma dunga. Eu sou uma dunga para que que vai grafitar. Ah, não, não tem inimigo, tem inimigo ainda. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. Hanar talk using bioluminescence. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. True. Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black. But I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with Emonkira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, goddess of motherhood and protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, goddess of oceans and the afterlife. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. That's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. Oceans of afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider. The ocean is full of life, yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land, accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the collectors. Do you have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Let's see what they've got. Do you need something? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. 
I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Keppral Syndrome. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar Illuminated Primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt your ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. Launching probe. Probe. 
probe away. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe away. Probe launched. Serious issues with my shields. So we'll fight from the shade, but no hiding. Incoming dropship.
Put them down! This is Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Can we provide assistance? Patch a radio into Channel 617 Theta. We're on a stealth mission, high risk. We found what we were after. The Geth found us. They've got us pinned down. Can't get to our ship. Can't transmit data through the solar radiation. What's the status of your team? How many of you are left? We were a small squad, dozen Marines plus the science team. We're down to half strength now. Made the synthetic bastards pay for it, though. What brought you this deep into Geth-controlled space? You're asking the wrong person, Shepard. I just point and shoot. Something about the sun. It's going bad faster than it should. Some kind of energy problem. Any idea where the Geth came from? One of the patrol ships found us. Dropship started raining Geth down on our heads before we could get off world. Systems under Geth control. We knew they made planetary sweeps periodically. We hoped going low emissions would hide us. Do we have to worry about the Geth sending in reinforcements? Any idea where the Geth came from? One of the patrol ships found us. Drop ships started raining Geth down on our heads before we could get off the world. Systems under Geth control. We knew they made planetary sweeps periodically. We hoped going low emissions would hide us. How are you holding up? We can be there in a few minutes. Take it slow and careful. Direct sunlight fries your shields all to hell. Bunker down at base camp across the valley. I left Talizor at a secure shelter that doubled back to all the choke point. Getting Tally out safely is our top priority. Extractor will keep them off you. You've got confirmation that the Geth haven't reached Tally yet? Affirmative. Left my best man with her. When you get here, you can talk to her on the comm. Every Marine on this rock is sworn to protect Tally Zora. As long as one of us is still drawing air, she'll be safe. You're gonna throw your life away for research? Negative. I give my life for the migrant fleet, all the difference in the world. I'm no tech expert, Shepard, or Marine. They tell me to shoot. I shoot. They said to protect Tally and the data. You get them out safe. I've done my job. Hold position. We'll hit their back ranks. Wait! Watch your ass! We got a dropship coming in! on my radar. Done. You will need both sets of charges to clear the rubble. said there's charges out here. We can blow through this. Time to fight!
You got it.
Send it to the sky. Might want to move. Why do we care? Anyone choosing to come here? This should come in handy. Our ancestors walked these halls with uncovered heads. The sun must have been normal back then. So much space, walls of stone. It's amazing. I wish my friends could see it. I wish Shepard were here. Tully's order to base camp. Come in, base camp. Tally, it's Shepard. I'm sorry, everyone here is dead. Any survivors must have fallen back. We knew this mission was high risk, damn it. And what are you doing here, Shepard? We're in the middle of Geth space. I was in the neighborhood. I thought you might need a hand. Thanks for coming, Shepard. It means a lot to hear your voice. Carl Rieger and what's left of the Marines got me into the observatory. From where you are, it's through the door and across the field. I got to the data I needed, and I'm safe for now, but I've got a lot of geth outside. What's this research you're after? It's about this world's sun. It's aging faster than it should. I can tell you more about it once we've got fewer geth shooting at us. Would it help if I brought in the Normandy? Doubtful. These buildings are centuries old. If you bring down heavy fire, this whole place could collapse on us. Is anyone else still with you, or are you alone out there? Rieger had a team of Marines covering me when I ran for the observatory. At least some of them are still alive. I can hear them firing at the Geth outside. It looks like somebody sealed the door against the Geth and the console is damaged. Can you get it open on your end? Uh, let me see. Yes, I can do it. Here. Should be unlocked now. Be careful, Shepard, and please do what you can to keep Rieger alive. We've been spotted. Machine powered. The drones can hide.
I follow you, Shepard. Big things. Over here! Get to cover! Squad leader Cal Rieger, migrant fleet marines. We talked on the radio before that dropship arrived. I still got no idea why you're here. This ain't the time to be picky. Pally's inside over there. Jeff killed the rest of my squad, and they're trying to get to him. Best I've been able to do is draw their attention. Are you sure she's still alive? The observatory is reinforced. Even the Geth will need time to get through it. <laughs> and it's hard to hack a door when someone's firing rockets at you. The Geth are near platoon strength, but the Colossus is the worst part. It's got a repair protocol. It huddles up and fixes itself. I can't get a clear shot while it's down like that. I tried to move in closer, and one of the bastards punched a shot clean through my suit. How bad is your suit damage? Combat seals clamp down to isolate contamination, and I'm swimming in antibiotics. The Geth might get me, but I'm not gonna die from an infection in the middle of a battle that's just insulting. What can you tell me about the battlefield? Right side's got a catwalk with a sniper perch. You could wreak some havoc from there, but none of my men made it past the Geth. Middle's got cover, but the damn Colossus has a clear shot at you the whole time, and you've got Geth coming in from both sides. The left gives you some cover from the Colossus, but your ass is hanging out for the Geth. That's how I got shot. Any ideas on how to deal with the Colossus? Standard protocol with armature class units is to sabotage the shields and whittle it down, you know? Kill it with bug bites. But the repair protocol blows that plan to hell. You try to wear it down, it just huddles up and fixes itself. So whatever we do, has to scrap that bastard fast. Probably means getting up close, past that cover. We need to get to Tally. Got any ideas? Just one! I'm not moving so well, but I can still pull a trigger. I got a rocket launcher that the sun hasn't fried yet. You move in close. I'll keep the Colossus busy, maybe even drop its shields. With luck, you'll be able to finish it off. You've done enough, Rieger. You don't need to throw your life away. Wasn't asking your permission. My job is to keep Tally safe. We don't have enough people on our side for you to take one for the team. Stand down. I'm not gonna stand there while you run into enemy fire. They killed my whole squad. And if you want to honor your squad, watch my back. I need you here in case they bring reinforcements. <clears throat> All right, Shepard. We'll do it your way. Hit them for me. Keep us alive. Enemy! <laughs> Impact shot! I got no shield! There we go! Yeah, wait. There we go! 
Fire in the hole! I'll take the shot! On the ground, now! Wasn't asking your permission. My job is to keep Tally safe. We don't have enough people on our side for you to take one for the team. Stand down. And if you want to honor, time to fight.
I got it. On my way. There we go. I'll take the shot. Right. finish this download. Thank you, Shepard. If not for you, I would never have made it out of this room. This whole mission has been a disaster. I wish I'd joined you back on Freedom's Progress, but I couldn't let anyone take my place on something this risky. A lot of Quarians lost their lives here. Was it worth it? I don't know, Shepard. It wasn't my call. The Admiralty Board believed the information here was worth sacrificing all our lives for. I have to believe that they know what's best. I didn't ask what some Admiral thought. I asked what you thought. A lot of people died here. Some of them were my friends. All of them were good at their jobs. That damn data better be worth it. The price was too high. What can you tell me about your research here? Haystrom's sun is destabilizing. Back when this was a Quarian colony, it was a normal star. It shouldn't change that quickly. Any idea what's destabilizing the sun? If I had to guess, I'd say that it was dark energy affecting the interior of the star. The effect is similar to when stars blow off mass to enter a red giant phase. But Haystrom's sun is far too young for this to be natural. Whatever the reason, I'm glad I could help. Once you deliver that data, I could use you on the Normandy. I promised to see this mission through. I did. I can leave with you and send the data to the fleet. And if the Admirals have a problem with it, they can go to hell. I just watched the rest of my team die. Maybe not the whole rest of your team, ma'am. Rieger, you made it. Your old captain's as good as you said. Damn Colossus never stood a chance. If need be, the Normandy can get you out of here, Rieger. Well, the Geth didn't damage our ship. As long as we get out of here before reinforcements show up, we'll be fine. Actually, I won't be going with you. I'm joining Commander Shepard. I'll pass the data to the Admiralty Board and let them know what happened. She's all yours now, Shepard. Keep her safe. Server saw footage of you in action, Talizora. We're looking forward to having you on the team. Your engineering expertise will really benefit the mission. I don't know who you are, but Server has threatened the security of the migrant fleet. Don't make nice. That's why you're here, Tally. I need people who aren't Cerberus. People I can trust. I wasn't part of what happened to the migrant fleet, but I understand your distrust. I hope we'll get past that as we work together. I assumed that you were undercover, Shepard. Maybe even planning to blow Cerberus up. If that's the case, I'll loan you a grenade. Otherwise, I'm here for you, not for them. If it helps, check out the Normandy while you're here. We've gotten a few upgrades. 
I'll get Tally Zora the necessary security clearance to access our systems. Please do. I can't be part of your team if I don't know how the ship works. Remember, Shepard, these people thought enslaving Thorian creepers and Rachni was a good idea. I'll be in engineering. Don't forget to introduce yourself to Edie, the ship's new artificial intelligence. I hope we can clear up what's going on with the Gurns back, Commander. Doubt my f Was there anything else? Commander. Commander, you re I had a wonderful chat with your friend Tally. She's not what I expected from her psych report. I like her. Tally's a good friend. We've been through a lot together. My female intuition says she wants to be more than just good friends. I always felt there might have been some chemistry there. There is. It's in her body language. How she turns to you when you enter the room. How she watches your every move. Horians are so fascinating to me. They also make me a little sad. Why do they make you sad? Their environment suits are so beautiful, but with their immune systems, they're trapped inside. I wonder what they look like under those helmets, or what their skin feels like under those suits. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Morden would like to speak with you over in his tech lab. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. How do you feel about being assigned? I was handpicked, but how do I feel? But mostly I feel encouraged. Don't I worry. I we'll trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes. Your trust is well placed, Kelly. I knew it would be. Thank you, Shepard. Anything else you'd like to talk about? Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Shepard, important news. Know you're busy. Have to deal with the collectors. Planning attack. Too important to wait. Just receiving data. Still processing, analyzing likely scenarios. Not sure how to begin. Too much intel. You remember our talk? My work on genophage modification? You stopped the Krogan adaptation to the genophage. Part of a team. Scientists, all different types. Blood pack mercenaries captured former team member. Malin, last seen on Tuchanka, might torture him, make an example. Recovering Malin would be a personal favor to me. Do you think they found out your team updated the genophage? Unclear. No way to determine until we get to Tuchanka. We'll go to Tuchanka and see if we can find your team member. Appreciate it. My assistant, my student, want to see him safe. Malin last seen outside Erdnot territory. Scouts might have seen Blood Pack. Talk to them or Clan Chief. Shepard, what can I do for you? Is the new Normandy giving you any trouble? Please, Shepard, I'm a Quarian. Give me a chunk of scrap metal, a circuit board, and some element zero, and I'll have it making precision jumps. I was worried about working with Cerberus engineers, but they know what they're doing, and they've been very polite. Can you do anything to give the Normandy an edge over a collector ship? Definitely. With the right supplies, I can fortify our shields. 
The Collectors cut through the Normandy's barriers immediately last time. My upgrades might give us a better chance. Shepard, what can I do for you? How's the Normandy running? Say what you will about Cerberus. They know how to build ships. The Normandy's running even better than before. I don't know if it can stand up to a Collector attack, though. I'm researching some ideas that might help. Have you got time to talk? We didn't really have time to chat while taking out Gath on Haystrom, did we? I can't believe so many people died. Thank you again for getting Rieger out alive. All for data about stars blowing up. I hope the Admiralty Board gets some use out of it. Tell me about the fleet's Admiralty Board. It's one of two major political powers among my people. The Admirals make decisions related to defense or needing immediate action. They also handle major criminal charges, like treason. The other political power is the Conclave, a group of representatives from each ship. They make most of our laws and fleet decisions. Any news yet on the data you sent? I'm not likely to hear anything for a while, or on an unsecure channel for that matter. Have you heard any word about Cal Rieger? Did he survive his injuries? He sent me a message. It looks like he'll make a full recovery. Any time you get a suit puncture, it's a matter of luck. Rieger got out with a relatively minor infection. Having any trouble settling back in on the Normandy? I like the quiet. I miss the old faces, though. Presley, Engineer Adams, all of them. It doesn't seem right having Cerberus in charge of this ship. Are you sure working for them is the right thing to do? I caught some tension back on Freedom's Progress and again when you first came aboard. What happened between Cerberus and the Quarians? They attacked one of our ships, the Edena. It seems they were attempting to kill or control a young human biotic who was on the fleet. I don't really know the details. I do know that Cerberus made an enemy of the Quarian people. Does it look like they're pulling the strings, Tally? I'm not working for them. They're working for me. So you ordered the listening devices and tracking beacons that are all over this ship. I know you need resources to fight the Collectors, but be careful, Shepard. I fully expect them to betray us at some point, and we'll be ready. I'm glad to hear that, Shepard. Just let me know how I can help. For now, I should get back to work. Thanks for coming by. Kenny, what has the new shielding done to your power grid balance? Not much. With built-in capacitor subsystems, they have a surprisingly low draw. Doesn't that mean the shielding boost wouldn't last long under fire? True. They're built for hard, fast strikes, not firefights of attrition. No messages for you, Commander.
launching probe. Probe away. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe away. Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe away. Detected an anomaly. Detected in orbit. All detected in orbit. All units report to ready stations for possible anti-invasion. Probe away. I have found something.
Resistance slow. Just move my shield. Ah! Take the shot. Ew! 
launching probe. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe launched. Probe away. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe.
anomaly detected. We should be careful. This atmosphere is toxic. Incoming!
can do.
move away.
launching probe. Probe away. Probe launched. Launching probe. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe away. Probe launched. Launching probe. Launched. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe away. Probe launched. Launching probe. Probe away. Probe launched. Probe away. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe. Launching probe. Probe 
away. Launching probe. Probe launched. Probe away.
probe launched. Probe away. Launching probe.
Shepard? The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white-collar prison. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. Nothing I can talk about. No offense, but Novaria was dealing with the enemy last time. Damn, you're a hard ass. I'd forgotten that. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've got to go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. Do you have anything? To Welcome. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. Is everything here so expensive? I plan to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outfitting a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best and I'm willing to pay for it. As long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount. And when I get special items in, you can take a look. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs, nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well, there is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Novaria, and illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini, you set me up! But this isn't Novaria. You don't have the authority to arrest me. I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. Ah, oh, that was good. I've got to go file a few papers. Come by my table when you've got a minute. Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing Asari. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. It must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop, or C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White-collar crime is nice and clean. Hell, at least this time I didn't have to wear heels and a dress. How'd you end up on Novaria, anyway? Scholarship program, and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science, but I could always ferret out secrets. You grow up poor and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. Helps with going undercover. What's up next for you? Research. We've had some hacking attacks lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. That'll hold me over until I have to go back undercover anyway. It must be hard, going undercover so often. It's not so bad. Go new places, be new people. The only weird part is when you go home and try to talk to people, and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Deep down, part of you likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. Part of me, yeah. I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful, taking notes, getting evidence. And they never see me coming. It's been a pleasure, Gianna.
You too, Shepard. See you around. Hell with it. Mwah. Much better than an autograph. Take care of yourself, Shepard. If this is the best you have, I'll make do. But you're certain the neural stimulators are compatible with both my suit and Asari physiology? job done. I'll go all the way without a second thought. Uh -huh. You want to see how far I'll go? I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from Commander Shepard? Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard? Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Werner. We met on the Citadel? I wanted to become a Spectre? Oh, uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face? You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson well. So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. Conrad, why are you acting like me? What, are you crazy? I'm nothing like you. I'm not a specter working for the council. I'm on my own, backed only by my wits and my nerves. No rules, no laws, just whatever it takes to get the job done. I'm not like you at all. Conrad, do you have any actual combat training? I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for training. Don't you get it? You are a big jerk. But you saved the galaxy and showed other races that humans mattered. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. How did you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare off-world. So, you just wander the galaxy, righting wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to talk to them. Sometimes I poke through crates, too. You know, for extra credits. <sighs> Any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dune. I need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapons store near the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. Anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athita, Asari Matriarch and Bartender. Get you anything? You're an Asari Matriarch? I thought Matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do here at this bar. I know. Not what you'd expect. 
But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel, so here I am. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Your mother fought in the Krogan Rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars. Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan thinks they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping a Rachni queen at a muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. If your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. Their ships were hanging bare-assed in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I warned him. Told people on Thessia what was coming and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. What's it like, living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pure-blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Get you anything else? I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. Once saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. Thanks for setting up the drinks. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. Very few Quarians ever set foot here. 
Ilium doesn't allow the flotilla. How can you short sell on prefabs after these human colony attacks? They're going to see a ton of business. A ton of immediate charity business. Followed by a freeze. 